Ikata Beauty setting powder. So yeah, if you want to get the 411 <laughs> on that product, be sure to keep on watching. And don't forget that I post videos every single week. So if you want to keep up with me, be sure to hit the subscribe button and also the bell button to be notified every time I post. Thank you for watching. Thank you for clicking on this video. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. And thank you so much for joining us. Yeah, love you. Let's get into the video. Okay. Have a little paper towel in my hand. Great. <laughs> so just applying my NYX Pore Filler Primer. I'm literally going to do my everyday base. But instead I'm going to use the Huda Beauty setting powder. So I'm literally going to like put my face on. Should you guys be putting my face on? I'll come in during the Huda Beauty part and I'll give a little review on it and how I'm feeling while applying it and then we'll finish my makeup and lastly I'll put a little weird test for you guys on how my day went about using the powder so yeah we'll, we'll just go ahead and do, do that right now you, So I'm going to try the Huda Beauty now. It comes like this. There's like a little net here that you could just like press down into and get product. I am not 100% happy with how much product comes up out of it. I don't really like that. I wish it came up with more product. I guess it's to control how much you use and so you don't end up wasting it or using too much. But I personally would prefer if it was, if it came up with a little bit more product. Because you know when you bake, you like pack your face with powder. Like I can't really do that with this, you know. Another thing that I noticed with this is that I think I did buy a shade too dark. I feel like I should have got a lighter shade. So it would still highlight my face at the end of doing my makeup. So it is a little bit dark. Like as soon as I put on the setting spray, I feel like it's going to go a little bit too one-dimensional one dimensional with my face like it's all gonna be like one color rather than being highlighted and contoured you know so that's my advice for any dark skin girls getting this like setting powder is like don't get too excited about seeing a dark shade most definitely get like a shade unless that's what you like of course most definitely get a shade higher so you can still have that like highlight contour look instead of it all being like one like this is like okay but I would most definitely prefer a little bit, prefer a little bit more of a highlight than like everything just being you know brown. Even though it's always great too, but <laughs> but yeah, I just want that sculpted look, you know, a little bit more because my face is like a little bit chubby and childish. So yeah, that's just my advice for anyone about to buy this foundation. For me personally, just let it set for three to five minutes and dust excess powder. Does what excess powder like what? I want excess powder here. Okay, so meanwhile that's going, I'm just do my eyebrows. So it looks really good, even though I haven't like set it with the spray. Like the powder is like so fine and like perfect. Honestly, the only thing that I can like really complain about is. The amount of powder that comes out and also the color that I chose. But you guys learn from my experience. If that's like what you prefer, a more highlighted look, then yeah, you should most definitely get a lighter color. I'm just gonna set that. So as you can see what I mean by that like one dimensional thing, like that highlight that I had, it's like now completely gone. So I mean like, if you're into that, that's totally fine for you. Then like, for sure get the color that you think you should get that matches your skin tone. This is in the color Cinnamon Bun, but I most definitely would probably get like something a little bit lighter. 
to like try to balance out the highlight contour like thing that's just the main problem i have with this i'm most definitely gonna go exchange this probably today and get a lighter color and then i'll probably do another wear test for you with that one i'll probably include it in this video so you guys you guys will see everything in this video anyway i'm really not like from this one dimensional thing so i'm gonna have to put on setting powder my usual setting powder especially like under my eyes like it's just not cute to me yeah as my mom would say you need something to brighten up your face a little bit that was most definitely it not the phone call the well, i'm in the same spot but it's a different day i went and exchanged it and i finally am wearing the powder i actually right now on camera i don't think it looks horrible but when i first came on camera when i first finished my makeup using the huda beauty setting powder i didn't like how ashy my face looked so I did go over it with a foundation brush. The brush I used to like apply my foundation. Originally, I got the Huda setting powder in the color Cinnamon Bun. And this time, I went back and I got it in the color Blondie. That's one color up. Well, no, two colors up because it's Cinnamon Bun and then there's Kanafa and then there's Blondie. The Kanafa one, I personally am gold, gold undertone, but I don't like the yellow like i just don't like looking yellow but i felt like that setting powder was just like super duper yellow and i did not want to look yellow so i just went up for the other one that was more like beige rather than yellow mm -hmm. it says blondie is for golden undertones brighten and so is kanafa but blondie also has pink undertones in it i personally don't really like the setting powder minus like wear like the longevity of it i just don't really like it i feel like it's not something i could put on in a rush it doesn't come out with as much product as i want i have to like that net like concept that they had i didn't like it, it just wasn't for me the color i just feel like i really have to like work it out to make it fit my skin tone really it's just most of my problem is like with application and the color of it it's just not ideal for me and i if i if sephora allows me to exchange it for a second time i do think i'm gonna exchange this powder because it's just not for me personally i feel like you have to try it yourself thank god sephora has this thing where you can bring a product in and exchange it even if you used it so that's bomb af but for me personally i just don't think this is the setting powder for me if i can't exchange it of course i'm gonna still use it but i feel like my Ben Nye is where it's at. It brightens my face the way I want it to. This one, I feel like right now, it does have a little bit of a brightening effect. A little bit. Not as much as my Ben Nye would, but it most definitely does have like some form of like brightening. Just a little bit. But from coming from the Ben Nye, it, I do feel like it is a downgrade for me. And it is more expensive. So like why would I choose that over my original? I really wish i could have given it a better review i don't know you guys try it out for yourself leave me a comment down below telling me what you personally think of this setting powder and let me know if it's just me because i don't know but um yeah that's how i feel about it i hope i helped you guys out a little bit with this video and if you like it be sure to thumbs up leave a comment down below on what you think and what you see on my face if you agree with me or if you've tried a product you leave me suggestions on what you'd like to see me review whether it be more drugstore or higher end things not too high end guys i'm so poor so you know <laughs> so yeah if you want to see more videos from me thumbs up subscribe you are always welcoming new people arms wide open for anyone that wants to join the party Leave me a comment and I'll see you in my next one, guys. Love you. Bye.